Howdy folks, Greyhawk 4x4 coming at you again, your resident vintage gamer, and we are inside Fallout 4. I thought that for this video, I would, uh, because I've put in so many hours into the game, and I've finished the main quest line, and I've spent a lot of time building my settlements, I thought that maybe I would show a couple of them off. So, let's take a tour. We'll start off with, the, let me back up here, we'll start off with this one. This one is at the, uh, I'll show you on the map, this one is at the boathouse, the Taffington boathouse, and that's what I've done to it. Um, that's what it looks like. I've got it all walled in, and I've got it built up with all my defenses and everything. So let's go inside, and for whatever reason... You can't get your uh, your NPCs to keep the gates closed. It's like there's no security at all, you know. It's like they just leave the gates open and stuff, you know. So, anyway, uh, got it all walled in. Uh, as you can see, got dog meat there. Hi, dog meat. And uh, got him all armored up and everything. Uh, got some uh, turrets up there and all that. Uh, got a little, uh, got a little, excuse me. Got to learn how to walk again. Uh, got a little uh, guard post here. Uh, watching out over the water. Um, in case there's an attack of raiders from that direction there. More, more than likely there won't be because of the water. Which is one of the reasons why I, I love uh, building settlements on uh, water... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, shorefronts. Because you generally only have to defend uh, one direction, like this right here, um, is more than likely where an attack would come from. Although I'm, I'm assuming that um, it's possible, I guess we could have something come from over there. But anyway, so we've got this, and uh, I've got a little, a little dock here that I've turned into a patio. Uh, got a couple uh, stores here, the bar and the clinic and everything. But uh, for those of you that don't have Buddy, this is a quest that you get Buddy. And hey, Buddy. Greetings, Buddy. Here for a lap, or did you want a cold beverage? I'll take a beer. Cold and refreshing. So here's a little trick that... Uh, I'm guessing a lot of people know this by now, but just in case you don't, uh, buddy, you get from a quest, and you have a choice of either returning him to the person that gave you the quest, as they've asked, or you can keep him. I chose to keep him because uh, he produces ice cold beverages, and when you give him, say, an, a, a Nuka Cola, which is normally, it heals you for 20 hit points. You give it to him, and after a certain amount of time, uh, he's able to chill it, and it becomes ice cold, and then it heals you for more hit points. Uh, Nuka Cherry, uh, it goes up to 75. And then, let's see here. Uh, in my inventory, if we go here, we'll see that I have Nuka Cola Quantums, of course, which are the, the big deals. And they normally uh, heal you for, I believe, I think it's 400. Um, but once you get them ice cold through him, through Buddy, uh, they go up to 650 hit point uh, for um, for healing. So that's just a little trick there. That, And all you got to do is just transfer them to him. And then it just takes a little while and then, then they become chilled. Um, so I have decided to keep him for that main reason there and I've got a little gangplank here walking around um, so you can you kinda got your I wouldn't say oceanfront because this is more or less a, a lake or whatever but uh, it's a halfway decent view you know and this goes all the way around and I've got you know generators all over the place to provide you know light and everything uh, had to give them a pool table and jute box and all that kind of stuff so all that standard stuff and then in here um, I've got it trip wired uh, in case for some reason there was an attack that came that way 
and I've got my power armor in here um, and of course this is where all the the gardening is done for all the food for everybody another another guard post up here com complete with uh, turret and all that and then up there I've got some other turrets I got a laser turret and I got a missile turret and, and that type of thing for defense um, let's put this away there we go and we'll go up here so I've got a little patio area up here for everybody to be able to sit and look out over the water if they wish to uh, and then we'll go inside here so this is what the old roof used to look like and all had holes and everything in it and I decided to to build over it got some more stores and stuff in here um, another bar right here for of course I think every, all my NPCs are sleeping right now so yeah they're all in sleeping and this is my personal quarters here I've got the uh, the nice bed with the, the safe underneath and and all that and then of course I gotta have you gotta have the bobbleheads on display uh, apparently I have you know I've only got uh, what, seven and there's like 20 or 21 total and then I've got um, the uh, magazine rack here with magazines on display and everything I gotta put another one for magazines cuz uh, that's just uh, that's not nearly all of them that I have so um, and of course you got your workbenches and all that stuff but I even gave myself a nice little uh, nice little balcony here and what's kinda cool is there is sometimes uh, in this area over here there are uh, super mutants that take uh, take up housing there and I can actually I don't think there's any there right now but I can if they're there I can usually just pick them off from my balcony which is kinda fun for XP you know yeah there's none there right now but they'll eventually repopulate and everything so and yeah, everybody's born b born in a barn. They can't keep the doors closed, you know. So that's that floor, and then that goes. I've got uh, beds that go all the way around and everything for. So everybody's got got to have enough beds, or they people get they get unhappy. So then we'll go back up here, and then up here we've got some more guard posts. We've got somebody on guard there. Um, some more patio furniture and everything, and we have our artillery, uh, so that I could actually launch artillery into the super mutants when they're there too, if I wanted to. Um, so basically, that's that is the the boathouse, and it is uh, it has been quite the um, quite the fun or I don't want to say ordeal the fun endeavor there's a the word I'm looking for the fun endeavor to to build that thing and it's been attacked a few times and it's pretty easy with all the defenses I have it's it's pretty easily defended um, the other thing I want to show you was the lighthouse so let's go over to the lighthouse real quick okay so of course I didn't find the lighthouse until after I had already spent all this time building up the uh, the boathouse there. So uh, otherwise I would have just made the lighthouse my my actual uh, main headquarters. But um, in any case, I built this one up pretty good too. So let's see here. There we go. Someone there. Oh, sounds like we got somebody. Oh, we we got trouble. Oh, I'm gonna get attacked. If we're gonna dance. Nice. I accidentally shot my turret. I think, bastards. Now I gotta fix my turret. There's somebody still fighting? 
Yes. You showed up just something's out there. Where are they? Found you. There goes my turret. Oh, my turrets are going ape shit. Where's the bad guys at? There we go. Damn, I blew him apart. There's just a chunk of him left here. Oh, that was a dog. No, bayonet... Bayoneted triple barrel missile launcher. Looky there. Free for the taking. Yeah, well... Here, Piper. Hey. Where to? Carry this thing Looking for me. For something specific? Cause apparently I got too much... Oh, she can't carry any more either. That's wonderful. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to go slowly up here. And, uh... Well, that was kinda neat. I got to see, uh... My defenses... In action there. And, of course, the bastards, they go right after your, uh... First thing, they go right after your, um... Come on. They go after your uh, turrets. Right off the bat. I just gotta make it over here to the, uh, the workshop. And then I can dump this other stuff off. Then I can show you guys the, uh, the rest of this. Show you my masterpiece up there. Now, so back to what we were doing before we were so rudely interrupted by super mutants. Let's see here, there's so there's what she looks like. Uh, this is quite the monstrosity, but it actually it may not look very nice, but it actually is quite functional. As you just from the from a defense standpoint, you just saw that. I've got turrets uh, strategically placed, and I think I need to. Well, maybe I, maybe it won't let me. I, I really want to repair this, but it won't let me. Okay. Well, I thought for sure I'd have to repair that, but apparently I don't. So. There is the monstrosity, and I have the, uh, which I'm going to show you there in a second, I have the skywalk going up to the top of the lighthouse. So, so we can go up this way. I have a guard station here, overlooking the water. And some... You know, gotta have your beds, of course, and everything. And then I've got my generators placed here. And then I have my housing here. This is my quarters here, which I haven't finished yet. I've got more to do. Um, let's see. We'll go up here. And I've got my artillery placed here. You're doing good work there. I've got a windmill there for more power, and as you can see, you can see the view here is pretty freaking cool. There's just no doubt about it. So I built up this whole patio area here at the top of the lighthouse, and the view, of course, this is like I said. If I hadn't, if I had found this first, I would have made this my my main headquarters rather than the boathouse but um, see I got some of one of my workers right there taking it easy listening to the radio you know I even got a little staircase to go inside the lighthouse if I want to whoops
There's still a dead guy up here for some reason. Why am I stuck? Oh, there's a ga the gate arm is down. Why is the gate arm down for this? That's funny, that's never happened before. I don't know how to fix that. It's not giving me the option to change that. That's new. That hasn't happened before. That is odd. Let's see if I can... Well, it won't even let me in here do anything with it. That is weird. And so it's not going to let me get in there. Oh, there we go. So, don't have much up in here other than just it's just a higher point for a better view type of a deal. Actually, stand right there if you want a better view. Thanks for your help. <clears throat> Thanks for your help, pal. I was glad to help out. Can't argue with your timing. Who knows what would have happened to us if you hadn't been here. Anyway, we appreciate the help. You know, it's my house, so... You don't really have to appreciate anything. I I'm gonna defend my own home. You know. So anyway, that is uh, in a couple. You know, got a couple shops here. You know, I, I don't have as much here yet as I have at my other place, but uh, that is the lighthouse. So there you go. Give you a nice little panoramic there. You can see, it's, it's a very defensible uh, as you've seen because it's up on a. It's got the high ground and then you have just this area here to defend and then you've got the water behind you oh what I didn't show you was I didn't show you down by the water that's the other cool this is all part of the settlement too is all this down here is part of your settlement if you get the lighthouse and actually go back here so this you get this uh, this outbuilding here and the dock and the boat the boat is even part of your settlement too so that is the lighthouse that's this is by far my favorite so you even get a dead shark there Ours now. that's it guys we will catch you on the flip side.